I only really watch broadcast television during football season. So every September I have this weird moment where I'm like, oh yeah, commercials. I mean, I mean don't get me wrong. I, I still encounter ads on YouTube and, and some of the shit movies that we do over again, but I don't watch them. Right. I do what every other right thinking person does. I take my headphones off and I look away so that the unskippable ads don't win. But I guess when I'm watching TV, I'm just I'm conditioned to just dutifully watch along with the ads. And it's because of that unfortunate tendency that I'm now so acquainted with the he gets us ad campaign. Now, we actually talked about this way back on episode 474 before the ads even started airing. But for those of you still blissfully unaware of them, let me ruin your bliss. He Gets Us is a $100 million ad campaign that tries to rescue Jesus' image from the intolerance of his followers. It presents kind of a, you know, a hipster Jesus meant to counteract the pervasive belief that Christianity is all about bigotry by saying, look at all these progressive values that Jesus stood for. In the words of John Lee, one of the chief architects of the ad, quote, our goal is to give voice to the pent-up energy of like-minded Jesus followers, those who are in the pews and the ones that aren't, who are ready to reclaim the name of Jesus from those who abuse it to judge, harm, and divide people, end quote. Now, to find that message, though, you kind of have to read between the lines. Because what the ads actually say is stuff like, see, Jesus also suffered from anxiety, or, you know, Jesus also hung out with low lowlifes, just like you. It, it tries to present a relatable, relevant Jesus that was motivated by love rather than hate, but it never comes out and says anything like, Jesus would have supported gay rights, or Jesus wouldn't judge you for who you marry, and therein lies the problem. The idea that Jesus is a cudgel for bigotry is so deeply woven into the fabric of modern Christianity that even an ad campaign designed to counteract it wouldn't dare repudiate it. Imagine the backlash if they did, right? Imagine that they spent $100 million running ads that said Jesus supports LGBTQ rights. Think about the white hot fury that we'd be reporting on. We'd have to put the Christian freak out toss on a fucking loop. Hell, I don't even know if those ads would be legal in the state of Florida. You might have to run them after 11 p.m. So instead, they run ads that says, you know, Jesus roamed the hood and had and challenged authority and, and Jesus struggled to make ends meet. Less Jesus isn't a homophobe and more Jesus isn't just a homophobe. And look, I I'm not reading tea leaves to get to their intentions. You read interviews with the guys behind this, or at least the non-anonymous ones, and they spell out exactly the problem they're trying to counteract. They did a bunch of marketing research along the lines of why aren't millennials and zennials going to church? And they found out that by and large, it's because they think of churches as hate groups. And rather than spending their hundred million dollars tackling that problem, they've decided to go after the perception instead. Now, they defend this by appealing to right and proper Jesus, right? They say, hey, look, all we're trying to do is get them interested in Jesus. If we can do that, they'll look at his teachings and they'll see that Jesus wasn't about hate. Because somehow, despite all the wars of the Reformation standing as counterpoints, Christians continue to insist that if people objectively read the scriptures, they're all going to land on the same theological interpretation. But a truly objective reading of their book notices that both the hippy-dippy love thy neighbor Jesus and the subjugate women and hate gay people Jesus are there to be found. You know, look, these ads don't point you towards a specific theology or a particular denomination. They just urge people to get into Jesus in a generic got milk kind of way. That means that people spurred to action by these ads will get statistically average exposure to the different interpretations of Jesus's message. And based on what we know, especially those of us who did fucking marketing research about it with a nine figure budget, that means that most of those affected viewers will get a dose of bigotry. They'll get a anti-gay Jesus. What they're actually effectively promoting is whatever the culturally dominant version of their faith is, and the culturally dominant version of their faith includes a healthy dose of anti-LGBTQ bigotry. Consider the implications here, right? Their problem isn't that there's too much bigotry in their church. They're doing absolutely nothing to tackle that. Their problem is that there aren't enough people in their church, and they're willing to exacerbate the former problem if it means putting a dent in the latter one. But make no mistake, until their religion renounces hate, at least enough that they can get away with running an ad that explicitly ties their faith to equal rights, an advertisement for Christianity amounts to a commercial for bigotry.